Good morning. We are on the way to Southampton Hospital as what I need for my hyperparathyroidism is parathyroid surgery and I can't get it on the island at St Mary so I have to go to Southampton Hospital and this is just the first leg of the journey. I just thought I would record it to basically make people aware of the journey you have to make to go to Southampton and unfortunately a lot of services are, or, well yeah service it would be, are being cut at St Mary's and I can't fault St Mary's at all because they were so good when Molly was ill and when I had her and it's a shame that if you live on this island you have to go all the way to Southampton. It is a trek, it's not just a simple drive down the road, I wish it was and it doesn't help when you're already anxious and you're having to go to have surgery, this is a pre-op I must add but still. And then you've got to worry about the journey there as well. So this morning we've got to get the car, which will take about half an hour to get to Cowes, maybe a little longer, and park up. Then we've got to get, is it 20 minutes on the boat? 20 minutes, 20, oh, no. 20 minutes on the boat. Then we've got to rush for the bus, because it, it doesn't wait. You have to, once you get off, you've got to be quick. Get the bus to town, and then get a bus from town to the hospital. That's going to cost a small fortune. And the other thing I was going to mention is, what was I going to mention? I've forgotten. Not a morning person. Um, there was something else I've completely forgotten. Not so good. I'm not a morning person, can you tell? Um, so yeah, it's, it's a bit of a pig. Oh, that was it. That's what I was going to say. If you take the car across, it's still expensive. And I understand that there is very limited parking at, at the hospital. In Southampton. Oh, I've got been there. So either which way, you're a, you're a bit you're a bit stuffed. I wish it was just a simple drive or a simple bus ride, but it's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to track the journey today. I'm going to vlog about it because I said that I would anyway, so people can get an an, an idea or an understanding. Great, the road's closed. Of how difficult it is for people on the islands now. There was a meeting last night um, with acute services, etc. And basically, they're, are they proposing stroke? Are they proposing oh, that the stroke the and... Chat it's not at the moment, but they're saying that any well, babies, yeah, yeah, yeah. sick babies, stroke patients, well, all, the specialist stuff. all the special stuff is gonna be moved off the island, which is gonna cause even more trouble and heartache and I know that the NHS are already very stretched and that would have of course affected me because my dad had a stroke and my my baby daughter wasn't very well at five months both times they said you might have to go to Southampton and then you've got the issue of well, where do we go where do we stay how do we get there and it, it's all these extra issues on top of an already stressful and difficult time I know the NHS are stretched stretched I know that they're trying their best but that's the whole point of me trying to vlog is to basically show we're now stuck behind a rubbish cart so I don't know if we're going to get this boat if we don't get the boat if we miss the boat then I can't make my appointment this is this is not good already please excuse the sunglasses I've had bad hay fever I look like the fly so I am going to keep them on today if that's all right and I will see you soon what do you think, Molly? <laughs> also got to mention that I'm taking the family today because I don't want to go on my own. I'm a bit nervous. I don't really know where I'm going. And I'm a bit stressed, a bit anxious. And I haven't got anyone to look after Moles, so we've had to come as a family, haven't we? Yes. And I'll leave it there. I don't know if we're gonna make this boat. Some people would say, well, if the island's so inconvenient to live on, then why don't you move? Well, that's, that's great, but I have to stay because my dad is here in a care home and I'm not leaving my dad. And sometimes you have to choose between your career and your family, and my family is important. If I could move tomorrow, I would, without a doubt. 
but it's just the way it is. But on the other hand, it, it shouldn't be this hard. The other thing as well I forgot to mention is it's the cost of moving. It would cost a small fortune to obviously move and find somewhere else and get the boat and get the lorry. It's, it's not something you can just do like that. Uh, I think long term we are looking to move for good. The island is beautiful. It, it's, it's got beautiful countryside. It's got beautiful beaches. We are lucky to live here. But it's just not practical, and this herein lies the problem. Wow! Stuck in traffic again. Anybody fancy any fish and chips? We're nowhere near the ferry port. What time is it? One? It's quarter past nine. It's now twenty-five past eight. But then we've got to park up. Also, the other thing is, oh, what's he doing? Oh, God, he didn't even signal. Bye-bye, Mr. Fish and Chip fan. The other thing is, well, excuse the state of my car, it's very dirty. So that's a job for someone to do. <clears throat> um, the other thing I was going to mention as well is the cost of travel. Usually for a, f a foot passenger from cows, <clears throat> in peak time, it's about, is it £24? If you go after 9 o'clock, it's still £16. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how. I don't know how it works. Really getting money back or anything. I think if you're in a low income, you might get some help if you're lucky. But it's the cost. So you add that up. Just one person. Then you've got the buses. Ready? Yeah, exactly. And if you park, some of you've got the parking as well. If you're parking in cows and paying for parking, so it all adds up. You could easily look in at what twenty to thirty pounds a person just to get off the island for the day and one of the problems with the island is it doesn't have very many well-paid jobs they very rarely come up it's very hard to get any work I myself have struggled as a teacher and so has my partner so it's very hard if you can only get a living wage job you've basically got to work two three four hours to get that fare already if you choose to commute you're looking at a long-ish journey and if you're not getting paid very well anyway and you're paying 30 pounds before you've even got to your job it's just not financially viable more traffic don't know if we're gonna make this I did look to go to the ferry festival in Hampshire in August but forget it, it was £70 for the car and the three of us to go over and you can't really get there by foot passenger. Can't afford it, just don't have that kind of money. Still stuck in traffic. And the ironic thing is that our hospital now is, is only about 10 minutes away. Still nowhere near at the moment. Let's hope we don't miss it because if we miss it, then I miss the appointment. The only other thing I can think of doing is the next boat isn't until quarter to ten, is getting that one and then getting a taxi, which will take about 20 minutes. On the bus, it takes about 40 minutes to get to the hospital. So I hope we get this one, otherwise, I don't know if I'm going to make this appointment. Just found somewhere to park. Honey, will you please? And the creature named Aaron. No, no. There, there is a car park away from the terminal, but it costs it again. It's just adding costs up, so we have to find somewhere else. We've got about 25 minutes to walk to the boat, get to the boat. Okay, next part of the journey, a little walk see through West Cows, take about 10 minutes to get to the ticket office and we're not even, the scary thing is we're not even halfway through the journey yet. Which way across here? 
We are very lucky for it to be an absolutely gorgeous day though and it's nice to get off the island I must admit. Some freedom. We finally got on the boat and there was a massive queue for tickets because the ticket machine wasn't working. Apparently it was only accepting a few. Some cards are not every card. You're right. Anyway, we made it. So the next thing to do is rush off the boat and try and get the bus to town and then get the bus from town to the hospital. I would take a taxi but not sure about baby seats. Welcome aboard Frenchly to the following safety announcement. This craft is fitted with self-inflating white It'll take about 15-20 minutes. And life jackets stowed underneath your seat. <laughs> to put on a life jacket, remove it from under your seat. <laughs> waiting for the bus back. We were we were half an hour late. We to know Fort Rowan. The bus was late as well and I was in a bit of a panic and I was lucky that I bumped into my friend Cloda who got us on the right bus. I think Cloda. And anyway the consultant was very good, saw us pretty quickly. It turns out that I've got to come for another pre-assessment so I've got to go through this again and then I'm going to hopefully have the operation. It could be an overnight stay. Again, that's more issues because we're not sure where my house is going to stay. So I'm not coming back by myself after surgery. And the other thing is that um, if you get help with your fares, they won't pay for a taxi for just a pre-assessment operations from the island. They will only pay for taxi if you are having a surgery and you can't obviously travel on the buses. I found it very long, very tedious, very stressful today. It's taken us three hours to get here and we were late. We were half an hour late. Anyways, I'm just, I'm just grateful to have been seen and I'm grateful for the NHS for everything they do and I do not for one second take it for granted. I'm going to leave it here, I'm not going to bother filming on the way back because you've seen the bulk of the journey but that is basically three hours to get here from the south of the White to General, Southampton General. If you like this video don't forget to like, share, subscribe, give it a thumbs up and let's like say thanks for watching.